no death when you see it, old man. This is my power. Hello and welcome to the Witch King of Angmar. And we will take over Arnor and the lands and the men in the north. Now, I'm pretty hyped for Shadow of War. So, I want to play as the main villain of Shadow of War, which is the Witch King. And my main goals for this, look, I'm almost 3,000 years old. The main goal for this is to, of course, take out Arnor, all this. Take these guys out first, and then these guys, and then these guys. And find the ring, give it to my boy Sauron over here, and kill the line of the kings of Gondor. Stop all their line and make sure that they're ran by stewards. Basically I want to do what the Witch King actually did in the real lore, which is basically kill all these guys um, and then 1v1 <laughs> the king, take Minas Morgul, or take Minas Morgul then 1v1 the king, and then make them all stewards. I don't think you can do that though. And then my main goal is to give the ring back to Sauron. And I also want to see if I can kill uh, Elrond here. He's a craven? Hmm. Alright, well let's get married. No, I don't think Nazgul can get married. So I will try to build a war chest. Because I need money to hunt for the ring. Not this. Hunt for the ring. Right here. I need a thousand I need a thousand gold to do that. So I said I wonder if we can take the ring for ourselves. Should I just like declare war on this stuff so I can settle and stuff like that? I think I should. Do I own all of this? No I don't. Okay. Hmm. I can't declare one both, so let's just... I wonder if there's any events here. Okay, Corrupted by Darkness. As a creature of Melkor's making, you are corrupted by darkness and work with the other evil war evil rulers to defeat those who stand in your way. Cool. Good and bad, I already declared war on these guys. Hmm. Can I declare war on these guys? No, I can't. I need to cause a spell I I should be attacking them. I'm patient, envious, wroth, cruel, an impaler, corrupt by darkness. I have the moral blade, or one of the moral blades, Nazgul. I mean, I can. Oh, here it comes. I live forever. I have the ring of Muraz. I cannot pronounce Tolkien names at all, so you're gonna be saying that a lot. My lord, you're the ruler of a powerful kingdom in the south. The Dunedain are strong too. And Hillman, and Hillman? A Hillman once swore to serve you, and it's perhaps time to ask him to weaken the Rudar. What will you tell him? Ufang, take the crown. This guy here. So he's gonna betray his king. Take the crown. Do it. Do it. Or I'll do it for you. <laughs> this is Angmar. Shouldn't they all be under one thing? I guess not. No, no, I guess not. Now, where's the, uh... Where's the place I, be I turn into, like, a... Demon-infested, undead-infested place? I think it's... I think it's either here or somewhere. Write in the comments so I can know where it's at. I know that the Witch King like purged this place over here with undead and stuff like that so he can never be rebuilt. Now throughout the day you've caught yourself grinding your teeth <laughs> and being una un unable to focus on anything for long. Suddenly you realize you've been in a bad mood all day. It grinds my gears but it might cause distress if I lecture people like this. Yeah, I'm grinding my teeth. Hey, why aren't you, uh, doing your thing? 
Why can't I declare war yet? What is going on? Oh, here it is. The fall of Arnor. The former kingdom of Arnor is divided into three kingdoms since some, since some generations. Arthedain, the most powerful. Powerful. Carlodain, the older one. This one. And Rudar, the weakest. Since some years, a new power, ra new power raised in the north, the kingdom of Angmar, and the power of Witch King at its hell head. Will the Dunedai in the north be strong enough to resist the mighty armors, armies of Arnor? Uh, there are enemies. I'm, I'm killing all these guys now, apparently. I'm not killing him. I wonder if he'll invite me to a party. <laughs> I am the Witch King. Oh no, I have rebels. Come on, man. Don't rebel. I know in this game the orcs are like, there's a lot of them. But they're a lot weaker to the armies of men. So I gotta watch out for that. What can I do with this guy? I wanna see if I can torture him, to be honest. Throw in the oblet. How about that? Oh, obliet. Oblet. Good into bad. Let's go on ham. Let's oil up that rack. There is Thrandu Thranduil and Legolas. Already getting married to a 17 year old elven child. There's Airbor. No, uh, no smog yet. Alright, Ufeng has failed. The king of Rudar is still in the hands of Dunedain. Alright, I'll get this war for myself then. Let's do it. The war for Arnor has begun. I have all of my commanders. I'll take the crown. It's time to send my legions. Yep, let's take that crown. Do I have all my commanders? Who's all my commanders? Alright, I have all, all these commanders. So, okay. Unleash my legions, unleash my orc legions, unleash my hillman legions. Or, and hidden in your fortress, your legions are ready to fight. Let's unleash everyone. Come on. Duh. I want everyone out here. Can I change this guy to like this guy? Yes, I can. Just trying to get better armies. All right, guys. What's happening? Just go for it. Of course, I'm at the held helm held. I'm at the helm. I gotta lead the men. The, well, the orcs. I gotta lead the orcs. And they have, like, nothing, I don't think. They only have a thousand men. This guy's a hundred years old, though. Let's have this army deal with their army. Let's have it led by this guy. All these orcs. Alright, we got a prisoner. We got another prisoner. Let's uh, just be searching for men over here, down this way. Can I uh, get this guy to my court? He probably won't come because Sauron's so cool. Let's oil up that rack, let's torture people. It's always fun to torture people. Uh, men that is. I mean, uh, not men. I mean, oh shoot, we're at war with everyone, aren't we? Okay. Alright. Let's uh let's finish this first. I don't think I can take that 6k by myself. Maybe I can. We'll see. I'm gonna stick over here though with my boys. My boys will stay here. That would really suck if I died in like a siege or something. Which king lives for three thousand years only to only to die. In a siege. Alright, let's see if we can take these guys. I'm sure we can with 
over 38k men. Yeah, yeah, we got it. All right, there we go. Aha! They have been defeated. Let's see if there's an event which makes us attack these guys or something. Now I'm gonna purge all these guys. You, what have you done, dude? Seriously. Empire of Angmar. You are threatening. <laughs> oh wow, I lost so much gold. Oh, I'm I'm still losing like a lot of gold, Paula. Shoosh. Look at that, 46 gold? Wow. Now there's like so many thieves guilds out here. Dang. I did not see that. Who knew raising a uh, 38,000 orc army would be so costly? <laughs> I think we'll attack these guys next, I bet. We wiped out their entire army. Both of them. Angmar is like, gone. And there's, uh, there's little hobbits. Right here. Our, uh... I wonder. Is Hobbiton still here? There's some hobbits still living in this stuff. I think Hobbiton is like right over here. But uh, but I have I have to lay waste everything first before hobbits can come out. I don't know if that did that happen because uh, Arno was destroyed. Was it that the hobbits were finally able to create their Hobbiton and all that? That would make sense. There's the Shire. I believe so. Now, what really, what ruined my campaign, and well, the, what ruined the Witch King's campaign, what were the elves of Linden and Rivendell? I don't think they're going to be too much of a problem. Not here, at least. Hey, they like me. I guess, uh. The Lord of the Nazgul isn't so bad to these guys. Now, am I going to get another event where I fight these guys, or... I think I will. And then I'll deal with all these, uh... Border Grower from this stuff soon. I could declare war on Rivendell soon, if I want to. Do I have my people doing anything? No, I don't. Let's, um, I guess, talk to this guy. Get some gold going. Let's, um, just scheme, I guess. Research cultural tech. My capital. Scheme. Yeah, I had the, since this mod hasn't been updated in a while, I had to revert old, not, revert the, uh, game itself, like, go back in the betas to, I think, 2.5, which is pretty far back, because we're in, like, in CK2, like, 3 point something, maybe? Or 2.8? I'm not sure. Who is my family anyway? So we're we were from the Numenorians. Um, my grandfather was one of the emperors of Numenor. My mother was his daughter. I see. And here's all the nine living members. Oh, one of the Nazgul died. How'd he die? Natural death? Um... Okay, so I'm guessing... So, wow. One... All these Nazguls died from natural deaths. <laughs> they got too old, I guess. And so they just died. That's funny. Oh, gotta deal with these guys again. Um, let's just get out this 8k army here. Deal with the nut right there. 
I could create these titles. Um, I guess so. No real point though, is there? Like, why should I give it to this guy? They're not going to, to assassinate me, are they? End all plots. I have to figure out how this stuff works again. Sheesh. We are pretty far back in CK2 time. I, I wonder if I could just give the Kingdom of the Rudar to someone else. Because I'm a Empire title, right? And this is a kingdom. And Arnor is all of this. Okay. I think I can just give this guy the uh, the kingdom then. They're not separate, are they? Angmar and the Rudar. These guys are just kings. I know I'm an emperor. Okay. This uh, doesn't work. I'm, I'm gonna be pretty upset. I know you failed me, but okay, good. It's a king now. This is much better for my uh, for vassals and stuff now. Changed his uh, thing. Oh shoot! I'm dueling this guy. Prepare to die, lowborn. Now's our chance. Oh, I killed him. Cool. I forgot that there's a uh, dueling in this mod. It's like the uh, Game of Thrones one. It's pretty cool. Now I wonder. I can just do Holy Wars for this. You know what I should do? I should just take out Rivendell now. While I have the chance. Let's do that. How much men does he have? Only 1,000. Let's take out Elrond. Let's take out Elrond. Let's do it. He's been a thorn in our master's side for too long. Alright, now I gotta watch out because I could lose like a lot of gold for this. 51 gold a month. 51 gold. Maybe I should chill out with this and only use my 8k. Yeah, okay. Man. Alright, when I use that 22,000 min, I'll uh... <laughs> I'll use it for emergencies, I guess. Sheesh. It's crazy. This guy's 125 years old. Who is this guy again? Gorthor? Oh, his, his son was murdered. Oh no. Alright, Elrond. We're gonna do this. I need all the men I can because I know that the elves, even though they have a lot less men, they're, um, just sheer force and power that they have. I guess a retin- it's, it's some sort of modifier that the elves get. Elves and men get it both, like the Gondorians and the, uh, Rivendell and all that. So let's see if these 8k can do it. Whoa. Alright. If I can catch, capture Elrond and kill him, mm, that would be the best. I would change Middle Earth forever. Alright, let's see. See? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay. I, I need I need my 22k. Holy crap, he just annihilated me. Wow. <laughs> now I know now he will not be able to withstand this 22k. At least I hope. Thought for sure 8k would be able to do it. Holy crap, he, he cut through that like butter. I guess it's because elves have like no morale. Not elves, uh, orcs have like no morale. And they're just swarming. But elves are like, superior fighters. So, oh. You're, fi you're facing a rebellion for elective monarchy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we come. Gotta get the best generals. Let's uh, take this guy off so we can get my 
22 guy. Okay. This doesn't work. I don't know what will. And if this doesn't work, I think we screwed ourselves pretty hard. Oh, here it comes. 21k. Come on. Yes. We captured his sons. Elrond's sons. We have them. We need to take Arwen. And then his failure will be complete. Let's sack this. <laughs> Elrond, this is revenge. This is revenge. Yes. We gotta make sure his army's dead. We need to make sure that army's dead. Oh yeah, there's a routing mechanic. I forgot about that. Where are you going? I'm not splitting my army in half to like go do the other stuff. Where is he going? Oh, he's going into the mountains. Flee. And we stack wipe them. And now, how much do I take? Do I take everything or? Oh, I only took this. But I have his sons. And I think I'll just execute him, to be honest. <laughs> Elrond's son, Elrond Hill. Thou you live a thousand years only to be captured by the Witch King himself and murdered. Dang, I wish I would have t t Should I have besieged it? Hmm. Oh, there's Isengard. You're in a defensive pact against me? Um, how do I see defensive packs? Oh, all these guys are in a defensive pack again, pact against me. Now, can I attack him again? Do I have a... Uh... No, I have to wait. I'm not bankrupt. <laughs> Sheesh, 200 gold in the hole. I think I have to wait. I I don't think I'm going to get an event for these guys anymore. That would suck if we don't. But I can just take them piece by piece, I guess. Can always do that. He's got 7k now. It's pretty scary, pretty scary, I'll be honest. We were able to take out their 6k pretty easily, though. But I'm really scared is if Linden joins a pack or anything. They only have 400 men. Oh, oh look, a, a spider. Ew. My courier... She's trying to convert me to, uh, Ingolian? <laughs> uh, no. Someone sees the spider. Come on. She's trying to convert me to spiderism. Heretic. Shouldn't you know that Sauronism or Melkorism is the way to go? Come on. Come on, guys. I will have my total revenge on Elrond. I killed his son. But I will not stop until everyone of his is dead. I have to not be bankrupt, and then I'll declare war on him again. Come on. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I do have a truce with him. Alright. And in the next part, I will completely destroy Elrond. Thank you all for watching, and subscribe to see more.